the number of seeds you have at the top? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, there was one extra one hanging in there. Um, no, really, really good, really good. Um, how, did, how did that go for you? It was okay. Yeah? What didn't you like about it versus how it was in the practice room? I think I just struggled really fast with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like those, all those with Sicilian stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, it's hard, but you're getting, you have exactly the right idea. And once it speeds up, those little details will, will carry over from when you're in your Sobe tempo. It's, it's, really, it's a really good start. Um, there are a lot of little details that are easy to miss the first time you prepare. Um, super easy to do. For at the beginning, um, Starting measure 14, very firstly natural there. What's your, what's your starting technique? Perfect. Right when you start playing. Two and a half. Double piano, not just regular piano, double, double piano. piano, right? It's, it's, it's easy to miss because it's six measures behind you, but but yes, it's got to come all the way from double piano all the way to double forte. So be sure to save a little bit for that. Um, be careful after A, when you have the half note with two slashes, that's worth eight sixteenth notes, right? Half note is eight. A lot of them, I think this time they only had four. Bum, 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 which is what happens the bar before the scales come back, right? But, but these are half notes with two slashes. So make sure you get all eight in there. The tempo was right, the notes were right, it was just a quarter note with slashes instead of a half, you know. Um, I, I very much liked the articulation you were getting in this slower, slower idea. Although the, the introduction wasn't that much slower than what you're going to get in the 40s. So it's really not, you don't have that much hills left to climb there. Um, I, like, I like the jumps, they were working quite well. Um, the intonation through them was also very good. Um, Again, kind of similar to what was happening with Brian. The, the low notes, on the e, especially the ones on the E string, didn't quite have that, that pop of articulation that, or, or they, they lost a little bit of the space between notes that I think you're going to want to save. The stuff, the minute you get off the E string, the minute you get off the D string, sounds great. That's exactly the stroke you should be going for. But the, the ones on the low end were a little bit hazy, like a little bit tubby around the edges, you know? Um, let the, uh, that's all I have for the beginning, though. The rhythm is very good. The scales are very good. The intonation is right there. Um, when you move into the exposition, be careful of the length of your pickups. A couple of eighth note pickups were actually sixteenths, right? Like when you have ba -bee -da -ba -da, some of those were da -bee -da -ba -da, right? In uh, still on the sorry, still on the first page, um, right? In 74, 76, that pickup is an eighth, not a sixteenth. Beethoven loves doing stuff like that. Right? You get the 16th pickup right there, and then he throws the wrench in the works and gives you the 8th note pickup right next door. Um, it would be wrong if Beethoven hadn't done it. You know? um, careful of your counting at the beginning. We're in 6-8. We're not 12-8. We're not there were a lot of these at the very beginning of the exposition. I think you were in 12-8. There were extra beats in those bars. Um, I like the way you do the bum, but I'm bum, but I'm bum. It's got that you've got that sort of grounded feeling, but the beats are still falling forward. It's good that you you, you definitely paid attention to that. Um, when you have these long crescendos, really, really wait. Right? You don't you don't have to make get super granular. You just have to like at the beginning, bottom of the first page. Right? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight measures all the way to get to forte. Right? I would cram most of that crescendo in the last two measures. Your goal for the, for the first six would just be not to get quieter, right? It, as long as you don't diminuendo, you'll have this feeling of, because uh, you're, 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 well, the range, you don't, you, you actually lose a little bit of range, so you don't have that working for you, but um, as long as you don't get quieter, you can save that crescendo to the end, and it'll be much more effective.
Sport Sanjo in 128. Da 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 How are you? What do you think happens for this Sport Sanjo? Like, how do you picture it? What elements come together to make up a Sport Sanjo actor? Forte and a piano. Yes, but it's it's not just forte because because Beethoven will often kind of write these reminder accents. Not in, not so much in this piece, but like in Beethoven 9, they're everywhere, where you'll be forte, and then he'll write those little reminder fortes, which kind of work like accents as well. Brahms also does this a lot. A sforzando is, is as the most severe accent you can get, right? It's a combination of vibrato in the left hand, intensity, but also a big speed accent in the bow. Yeah, blah, blah. It's, it's onomatopoeia, almost sforzando, that, that that big first syllable, it really, you should shoot out the bow and use a lot more length, right? So, B, 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 C sharp, yep. So you have, I don't have enough rods around it. Yeah, you got it. Right, you get, both speed combines with vibrato, combines with, and even I even kind of de decrescendo too much, right? It's it's all beginning of note. Really, really withdraw all your funds from the bow at the very beginning, and then you, you just kind of have to hold on to the rest of it. But the the sforzando is the most kind of nasty accent you can get in this time period. Um, so just make sure it has enough oomph behind it, you know. Um, and then, good, I think that, that covers a lot of this first spot. Moving on to the, the second spot, I like a lot of your, a lot of the attention to detail is really solid. I like how you say set crescendo. It's a long one. I think this one's even, it's even way longer than the first one, right? Um, be careful to 50, right? They've snuck in, Beethoven has snuck in a long, dun 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 dun, dun dun dun, dun right? The first one is super long. So be sure to make that difference, especially if this gets, if this gets called. That'll be something conductors are going to listen for. Um, right, that first note has to stay long. It's not a, it's not a mistake. Um, but the rest of them are short, right? It's just a little little middle finger right in the middle of this room, you know? Um, other than that, that was my only real comment. The run coming up is good. I mean, it can always be cleaner because it's really hard and really, really fast. But it was it was good. Um, there was a 297, uh, 294, there were a couple of wrong notes, but there were a couple spots like that, but it's really, really no big deal. You can, I, I'm sure you can hear it when you record yourself and go back on it. It's, the intonation is, is a little bit further down the list because it's already quite good. Uh, moving up to the second movement. Um, I like your stroke in the eighth notes, and you've, you've figured something out in terms of that bowing that's working just fine. It's not overly complicated. I, w I really wouldn't overthink it, um, but it's doing quite well. 203, beep, bum, 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 bum. The accent, the, the length of note in the right hand was great. Keep, keep a little love for the high C, and just vibrate that note a little, a little more. Try from um, 201. Ba, 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 and just hold on a little longer in the left hand. Try, try from there. G, F, E, D, C, G. Yeah. There it is. Yep. No accent. No accent, but just boom. Right? And then also, I think these syncopations, every time we have syncopations, they need to be a little bit more pop. Bum, bum, bum. It's not written, but it's, it's understood that this is something we do in this period. So just put a little bit, put a little pop. Not, not quite like a carrot's worth of accent, but, but a little bit of just sting. Just a little bit on the front of the notes, and that'll do it. Try one more time. Bum, bum. Syncopation is now is very clearly a syncopation now. Bum, 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 bum. 
that phrase comes off very nicely, just like Mozart. Boom. Right? It phrases off really nicely. Um, the third movement, also really solid. Uh, I really liked how you, you had the yapa bam. The left hand was very clear there. You gave it enough bow. Brian, I forgot to mention, that's the other key. You have to give it the yapa bam. It needs more bow. It needs more love, especially on the bottom end. Right? Um, yeah, no, it's good. I mean, in, in the slower tempo, it's really solid. It's just going to be making sure your top notes stay long enough once it speeds up. Dun, 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 dun. I would exaggerate it in a slower tempo and use an al almost use a legato stroke, but just concentrate on giving it more bow so that a nat you're naturally going to need less and less as you speed up. But thinking on the long side, especially in the top notes, until you get down to a B, B, and A, you're still up high on the string, relatively speaking, so you're just going to need more bow. Um, yeah, no, this is really, really solid work. Um, that's all I've got for now. I'll have some other stuff I'm sure when I quiz on a few more times. Really good work. Does anybody else have, have comments? Um, I'd say just in the first movement, watch for the key signature, because there are like some G naturals, which should have been G sharps. I think those really stand out. Um, just a couple of those. And then on the, the second like half of the first movement excerpts, like I think some of the rhythms, like at the top of the page, like they might not have counted correctly. Um, yeah, so just like stuff like that, I think is the, the most obvious things that like people on the club like will be listening for, mm -hmm. just like notes and rhythms. Yeah, that's true. Anybody else? Okay, really, really good work this week. Who wants to go next? Josh?